hello everyone so in this uh, video we are going to see the complete end to end project in athena okay so let us try to understand about the business use case okay so what actually happening is like we have one of the data that is available into s3 okay suppose you have a data that is coming in, into a, your s3 location okay now with the help of athena you have to do a analytics okay so what actually we are going to do we are going to create a s3 bucket there actually we will store one of the our superstore data and in athena we will try to do a query okay so for that what actually we will do we will create a data catalog and after creating a data catalog in athena we will try to do a query okay so that is that is the process which we are going to do okay so let me open my aws console okay so i open this aws console okay so what actually we are going to do first i will create a s3 bucket so this is the s3 bucket i am going to create click on the s3 click on the create bucket click on the give the bucket name i am giving bucket name as a into s3 bucket something okay and simply i am clicking on the create bucket okay now after that my bucket is now ready i will again click on the create bucket okay this time i will give as a output bucket output bucket okay uh, so this is the bucket i am creating i will just click on the create bucket okay so now two two bucket i have created i click on the input bucket i will try to upload a file and i am trying to upload a super store file okay so let me search for that there is one super store file which is available so this is the super store file which i am trying to upload i will just click on the upload button now okay you can see the upload is now in progress okay now we have a data that is available into our s3 location okay you can see now the data is available into s3 input location superstore.csv now what actually i am going to do i will search for the athena right click click in open new tab okay go there okay now click on the explore the query editor okay as of now there is no uh, database is there so what actually i will do i will click on the create and we we will create through a aws glue crawler okay so click on that aws glue crawler okay we so first what actually we are going to do we are going to create a crawler so crawler will go to the s3 location and it will crawl and automated schema it will generate and the schema will get stored into a data catalog so click on the create crawler okay I give the crawler name i am giving crawler name as a s3 input project something okay click on the next data source uh, is your data already mapped to a glue table not yet okay so i will select that and add a data source okay so we'll click on the add a data source what is our data source data source is s3 so i'll click on that okay location of s3 data so here we have to provide the path so this is the input path i will give click on the choose button okay so this is the path which we have will give browse and select that okay after selecting your uh, s3 location crawl all subfolder and add on the s3 data source okay click on the next create a new im role okay so if the existing im role is there so we can do or create a new im role okay we'll click on the create new im role the name we have to provide i will give just a project demo this is the role click on the create 
so new IAM role got created after that click on the next we will create a new database enter a database name I am giving a database name as a glue create database so one database got created okay okay after that we will click on the refresh because we have created one database now you can see the glue is there okay and after that we will select the frequency as a on demand okay click on the next click on the create crawler okay after that our crawler will get ready okay you can see our crawler is now ready if you uh, now what actually we will do we will select that and we will click on the run okay after that the crawler will crawl and it will uh, it will crawl the s3 location and it will create one table into a table location so we will just wait it wait for that Okay, we will just wait it to be completed. You can see now one table got created, it is showing that we will go to the table and uh, you will be able to see once you will refresh that you can see this is a particular bucket which got created and the database is that go to the Athena okay click on the refresh now you can see the database is glue database and this is the ta table which we can see which we have created just now okay click on the preview table and click on the run again so before that we have to assign the output location go to the setting click on the manage what is your output location so that for the query select that click on the save go to the editor click on the run again okay after that you can see you are able to see your data so this is the particular data which got crawled and you are able to see the data okay now if you want to find out like how many total sales happened okay so what metrics we are preparing how many sales happened okay so how actually we can find out select sum of sales from this particular table okay okay if, if we will execute that you can see this this is the sale total sales happened okay similarly if you want to find out the total profit total profit so the same query okay sum of the total profit you can see if you will run that you will be able to see this is the total profit which happened okay now okay now what else we can find out okay now top 10 based on the location if you want to find out the top 10 location where the mostly sales happened so how actually you can do that okay so i think we have one of the location or country okay uh okay uh, we have a country we have a country and we have a city and state also let us find out the base on the state okay so what actually i will do select sum of sales okay based on the state i will try to group by group by 2 group by state and order by 1 
descending order okay based on the sum of cell i am trying to sort it okay and if you will do a top 10 also uh, only limit 10 then you will you will be able to see top 10 state where the maximum sales happened okay you can see these are the state where the maximum sales happened and this is based on the descending order okay and if you want to see based on the city okay based on the city also if you want to find out the same query instead of sum of sale you can write a sum of city okay now if you will execute you will be able to see uh, I think the city is not there oh okay uh, here we have to write the city instead of the sale state okay if you will do run you can see New York City the maximum sum of the sales happened okay so like this you can run a multiple query you can create a table and you can run you can create your matrix and based on the quick site you can develop some kind of the insight over there like the dashboard and all okay that's it in this video